Welcome to the channel of Marco Direct. My name is Tim Hoiweg and in today's video I'm going to talk about the CATLAB CL81 sheet film insert for your daylight processing tanks. So the CATLAB CL81 sheet film insert is made for 8x10 in sheet film so you can easily go ahead and develop up to 3 sheets of 8x10 inch film by simply pulling them in right here and then you can go ahead and put them inside of the Chobo Multisystem 5 tank which allows you to process your film in complete daylight because if you are used to developing 8x10 inch sheet film yourself you have to go ahead and put it inside the trays and it's not really an enjoyable process you have to do it in complete darkness and now you can go ahead and load your film into this reel in complete darkness of course then take it inside the um, tank and then go ahead and process your film in daylight this is also a great option because if you are wanting to get 8x10 inch sheet film developed by a lab it's either very expensive or it's not possible because a lot of labs don't support that format anymore, it's not very demanded and so therefore developing it by yourself is really the only option. And this is where the CATLAB CL81 insert comes in handy because now you can process up to three sheets of film at the very same time with as little as 600 milliliters of chemistry inside of the Chobo tank. So all in all this is the perfect option if you want to go ahead and develop 8x10 inch sheet film yourself and in the following I'm wanting to show you how to assemble this CATLAB CL81 insert. Assembling the CATLAB CL81 insert is fairly easy. You just have to go ahead and take your center core of your developing tank. In this case, this is not a Chobo one because I don't have the Chobo tank here, unfortunately. But this is one from Patterson, but it just works the same. You go ahead and take the O-ring. So there are several O-rings included and you really need to, uh, to take care of this step because this can be really decisive because you have to go ahead and take the center core and take the center core from the CL81 insert and have to put them um, inside of each other because what is very important in this step is if you don't use the o-rings the center core will just be able to float around freely and then if you want to rotate the tank it, it won't work properly and it won't agitate properly so what you have to do is you simply take the um, mid center core go ahead and take one o-ring and place it right around at a third of the height of the uh, center core then you're going to take the other one and place it right around two thirds of the height of the center core and then you take the CL81 and make sure to put that on beforehand because otherwise that won't work and you put those on just to make sure that they are really tight um, on there make sure to press it on there and once they are tight on there you can go ahead and take the other center core from the tank and um, go ahead and put it really at, at the bottom and then you just simply go ahead and uh, slowly rotate it inside so that the o-rings also fit inside of the center core and then once that's inside you are pretty much set with the CATLAB's insert and then the next step would be to load your film inside of the insert which I'm going to show you in the following very important right now is that this step has to happen in complete darkness because you're handling your film material and so therefore of course this has to happen in complete darkness but after you've inserted your developing reel into the tank it's pretty much set and you can go out in daylight. So what you're simply going to go ahead is you're going to take your 8x10 inch sheet film right here and then you have um, three ports pretty much right here in which you can put in your film so you're going to start with the inner one of course and then you're just going to take your film put it inside the bottom and also the top in the very inner one and then just simply going to start to rotate until the film is completely onto the developing reel. So now the first sheet is onto the developing reel and you go, can go ahead with the second and also third sheet and put it inside of the developing reel just the same way. So again you just simply take your film put it at the bottom and top one just make sure it's the same same slot and then you're just simply going to start to rotate it around and then once it's inside that's pretty much it. Now we also come to a very important part where you need this um, little tool right here. So this helps you to put place your film back into place because as you can see right now the film is bending a little bit to the outsides due to the circular shape of this developing reel. This is where again this comes into place and you make just make sure that the film is roughly at the very um, very sa same height of the developing reel and you're going to take this right here on the outer side and just make sure it grabs the outer film and then you're just going to place the other one also around. So as you can see just make sure that the film is now into place and it doesn't bend anymore to the outsides due to the um, little tool right here which enables you to do that. So after you've finished those steps you can go ahead and take this insert and put it inside of your developing tank and after you've closed the lid it's pretty much ready to go into daylight and you can start processing it yourself. 
Processing is also very versatile with this because you can use any Chobo automatic processing machine which enables you to go ahead and put in the chemistry and will also take care of the temperature, rotating and all of that. Or you could also go ahead and take the um, developing tank and start rotating on a flat surface to agitate it which is also a process, process that is very handy and far easier compared to developing it into the trays. All in all, I think this is a very important accessory for anybody who is wanting to develop their own 8x10 in sheet film. You can now develop, again, just to summarize it, develop up to three sheets of 8x10 inch film in as little as 600 milliliters of chemistry and then go ahead and process it in daylight. So it adds a lot in terms of flexibility in your whole process. If you have any questions on this CATLAB CL81 insert or if you also want to get one for yourself, link is in the description down below of course. And if you have any other questions also make sure to go in the description. I would be happy to answer them for you as always. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you have a good day. See you, bye.